Hello folks, welcome to a PC build update there. I don't know why I say there, but um, last video I did, I show y'all uh, two uh, PCs I, I dug out of a dumpster at my workplace. And I thought I might show you, you guys what I've been doing since then. So, Alright, so this is... First off, this is my new current build here. Um, there's a reason why I did that. I um, had the old case right over here, which is this. And the reason why I switch, I had my old setup switch from that other case, which is a decal case, to this one. This is a, um, a dark rock mesh uh, PC here. I think you notice the little little openings there. So that's because I upgraded the um, not only the CPU which is a 11th gen i7 processor 11700F but also upgraded the graphics card which is a RTX 3070 and I thought that my old case would you no. Know, would handle the the the, the heat of the, the heat of the um, graphics card, but I was wrong there. I mean, holy crap, man! When I've started playing it on that case there, of course this has a tempered glass case. Now the temperature shot up way up to um, eighty degrees Celsius, and I kind of kind of panicked a little bit, so I've managed to take this off there and that seems to and it dropped the GPU uh, temps down to around 70 degrees Celsius so yeah that's reason why I've bought this case because of the airflow I mean not only not only has airflow here has airflow there it's not in the back, on top, of course, as usual. There's a little opening somewhere back there. So, yeah. Definitely, definitely help cool down the temps, both um, CPU and the GPU-wise. So, this is how everything is. Let me turn this on. So, I'm going to show you all the magicness of it. What a beautiful work that is. Show you how fast it boots here. Have the TV on. There it is. Yeah. Kind of goes out like that. So. Alright, so. Yeah, this is. I have a new motherboard on there as well. It's the AC sub. Uh, B5600. Of course, the other one has a uh, MSI B5600 uh, motherboard as well. This one has a four memory slots, and I use all of them 32 gigabytes of 3200 megahertz DDR4. Of course, you have the red fans there on both the uh, back and the CPU there and also have three fans on the front so it'll help pull this piece right there down to 70 degrees as I mentioned earlier so yeah I mean, this is a great PC there but I built the, the probably gaming for this for years to come there Hopefully the games won't be too demanding, so. Alright, with that out of the way, let me go ahead and turn this off here. I'll flip the switch just in case. Give one last look of it. See, like, power's down. Now this one here... I could sell the case, but I decided to build another 
set up on this one using the old motherboard I had in here. This one, this one has a kind of similar setup there, but the CPU is a 10th gen i3 I processor, the 10100F, um, 16 gigs of, of memory there, 32 megahertz as well. Graphics card is a MSI GTX, not RTX, but GTX 1660 regular. And power supply is a 500 watt one, so. But not only that, has some, I can find a switch for this. Also has the leftover RGB fans that I use. Oh. oh shit, I forgot to plug that thing up. Excuse me. Now let's try this again. Look at that. We got a RGB fan on the back there and also some RGB fans on top there. I actually saw, I think you may notice them looking different there. I actually have one fan blowing this way and this fan blowing that way to help cool the PC a little bit there. I saw in the video someone did that. I thought it was a pretty cool idea. Of course, I don't have any fans back there, unfortunately, but yes, yeah, definitely, definitely looks nice there. I actually sold it this weekend for 300 bucks, so someone's going to get a good looking PC there, so. All right, so that's the two I have there. And now for the two I dug out the dumpster, this one here, after I get rid of the RGB one, the old case I have, I don't want to work on this here. And this one here, this is a old, an old school build here. Um, uh, this is 16... Uh, gigabytes of DDR3, 16 um, megahertz, 1600 megahertz, but there's the motherboard, MSI H97 there, currently has a, um, I don't know if you can see that well, but it has an i5 uh, 4690K processor in it, and these are the uh, this is the um, old um, um, memory uh, sticks there that were in, that was in this there. I'm going to sell those there since I don't think it's really useful to have 32 gigabytes of it. So, yeah, so that that's going to go in there. And, of course, that power supply I'm going to use there. It's a 420-watt power supply. Kind of leery about it, but I think it will work, so... So, yeah, you know, get that working there, and I'll show you that. Also, I have that Dell um, desktop there that was a, a, a Optiplex 3080, and I, I actually sold it as is there. Uh, I think the problem with that was the motherboard was kind of, yeah, it was not, not working there. I think it's kind of died there. Looked online, it's prices of it is not worth the repair there. So I sold it as is, got a hundred bucks out of it. So, of course, I sold the um, motherboard that was in this PC for 40 bucks there. So I got a pretty good chunk of change there. So I am making more money. So I sell that memory and that CPU. How I'm still, I'll make some more money there. I was thinking about adding a Fortune uh, i7 processor there to upgrade there, be more practical. So, I'm sure someone would want a, an old school PC there. So, yeah, I'm sure all y'all, I mean, it has a disk drive on it, DVD drive on it. I was thinking about, I know they sold a, 
Blu-ray drives there. I think my upgrading that. It can be kind of cool if I did so. Also, this uh, card reader there. That's that'd be kind of practical in itself. So, all right. So that's the update. Look at this beauty right there. Because that's gonna go away to a happy customer. And I hope they enjoy it. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video as well. And of course, thanks for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Make sure you like, subscribe, see more of my videos. Of course, I've, if you want to watch some gameplay videos of mine, I've completed the Fallout 1, so you can watch that. And also the my golfing videos. Of course, we got the US Open coming up pretty soon. We'll be doing gameplays on that. And of course, Cyberpunk as well. Got to finish this on that. And also, I'm going to start another series as well. So, yeah. A little busy, but it is what it is. So, okay. Thanks again for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed it. And I will see you next time with more videos and hopefully some live streams in the near future. So long, everybody.